Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, the United States has made new moves, including allowing chip technicians to choose between being American citizens or working in China. This move shows that the United States is cracking down on China's chip industry, but as it has done in the past, it will crack down on China's chip industry, and will China's chip industry is pushing to greater heights, which is another failure of American hopes. The United States imposes controls on China's chip industry. Although the United States has been suppressing it since 2019, and even increased its ban on ASML lithography equipment, with China's rapid development in the semiconductor field and its huge technological progress, the U.S. semiconductor industry, it caused a big impact. Under pressure from the United States, China has made significant progress in memory, simulation, radio frequency, and other fields in recent years. In particular, the Mate 50 launched by Huawei this year is said to use domestic radio frequency chips and power chips. Domestic chips account for more than 70%, indicating that domestic chip technology has made great progress. At present, domestic lithography machines apart from lithography machines, only have one industrial chain left. ASML's lithography machines still need to be purchased from Germany, Japan and the United States. Recently, the 14 nanometers process has been reported from Shanghai. News, this also means that the domestic 14 nanometers process is ready for mass production. This shows that 14 nanometer lithography machines have also begun mass production in China. In terms of chip production capacity, China has been out of the top five in the world for many years, and today it ranks among the top three in the world. At present, China's independent research and development level of integrated circuit chips has exceeded 30%. Coupled with the continuous progress of 14 nanometers process technology, China is expected to achieve 70% localization by 2025. In particular, China's integrated circuit technology has made tremendous progress, making China's integrated circuit industry more powerful. Not only can it solve some of the country's needs, but it is also recognized by foreign companies. China's integrated circuit exports total as much as 1,600 yuan, tens of billions, which directly caused the price of solid-state drives to plummet. Within three years, the value of a one-terabyte hard drive dropped by one-third. American chips can no longer reap the benefits. The United States takes more measures to accelerate the decline of U.S. influence. Bill Gates the richest man in the United States, once said that if American chips are not exported to China, it will cause harm to the United States and accelerate China's development. At present, it is China's chips that have accelerated the development of the United States. While American chips have been severely hit, recently, AMD released its third quarter profit forecast. The company's revenue fell by 16.4%, which caused a big blow to U.S. stocks. 
The U.S. chip market also fell. The market values of AMD, NVIDIA and Intel all fell by more than 60%, especially Micron technology, which fell directly to the bottom. Other chip companies also began to tighten their funds. Not long ago, Intel launched the 13th generation core. The performance of the 13th generation core has been greatly improved, and Intel's 7 nanometers process has also entered the production stage. It stands to reason that Intel has obtained a new technology will definitely be attacked by Intel. These all highlight that the progress made by the United States in China's chips has been blocked. China is the world's largest importer of chips. China purchased 60% of the world's chips in 2021. Due to China's technological breakthroughs, the U.S. semiconductor industry has fallen into a development bottleneck. Recently, the United States announced that AMD and NVIDIA will no longer provide China's top graphics processor chips to China, which makes NVIDIA very uneasy. NVIDIA was very anxious. He asked TSMC to complete five months of GPU manufacturing work within two months and send more GPUs to China before the March 2022 deadline. Then NVIDIA once again proposed to meet this deadline. It will be pushed down to September next year. Because of the decline of the semiconductor industry in the United States, a large number of semiconductor engineers have emerged as a large labor force, and these labor forces are in urgent need of employment. So these people have gone to China to seek employment in an emerging semiconductor industry, and now the United States has proposed it again a condition has been met. And the United States itself does not have enough manpower to fill the vacancies because Intel recently announced plans to lay off thousands of employees. This will inevitably cause the loss of a large number of semiconductor professionals, leaving these people work harder for China's semiconductor companies thereby accelerating the development of China's semiconductor industry. Such a situation will cause the loss of more semiconductor technology personnel, forcing these people to work for Chinese semiconductor companies, thereby accelerating the development of China's semiconductor industry. It is obvious that the United States has not taken more steps as before by reducing exports of American chips and China's breakthrough in chips. The result will have the opposite effect, as Bill Gates pointed out. U.S. chips will decline faster, and the decline of U.S. high-tech industries will continue for a long time. In order to leave a tale to the world, the United States must ensure the free flow of talents so that it can attract geniuses from all over the world. However, the current measures are likely to have an impact on talents from other places, thereby affecting the integration of the United States. Adverse Consequences for the Circuit and High-Tech Industries